Okay, okay, okay. There, there we go. Are we going? We're going. Sweet. Okay. All right. Creepy room. Let's go with creepy room. We can examine the pillar. It's probably... Okay, this is not the part of the pillar that I thought we would examine. Also... The fire casts a shadow upon the floor. I mean, holy cow, that seems like a terrible idea. Uh... Also, what? Where did... What? Where was... Oh... Ah, I see. Shadow. Oh, I only have one shadow. Okay, all right. I see. All right, we're going to do... We'll go ahead and do this. Sherlock, um, FYI, this appears to be a, you know, archaeological... Uh, a site of archaeological interest... Um, my expectation is that it would want to be historically preserved. Uh, lighting fires in things is probably not the pillar rad. A long time ago. Um, but examine that perforated plate, man. Where did, wait, how did I? Okay, cool. Good deal. Um, that is the symbol of Neptune, the god of the sea. It resembles a bull. Neptune this shadow bull. seems to represent a bridge. Oh, okay. It is very similar to the face of Mithras. The shadows show us the way to go. We will find Mithras after Neptune, the bull, and the bridge. And the bridge is upside down. Right? Or is that... Is it... Oh, no. I see. It's like... It's a bridge bridge. It's not a suspension bridge. It looks like a... Subs see? I actually thought it looked like a crown. And so that's... That's sort of where my head was. Okay. Bull. No. Neptune bull bridge. Neptune bull bridge. Okay, well. Mummified bodies. We're in some type of catacomb. Do you think we're in some Mummified type of Mummified bodies. Catacomb, we're in some huh? type of catacomb. Well, okay. Mummified bodies. We're in some good, type of good. catacomb. Catacomb. Uh, I'm looking for these symbols around here, or like a passageway or something, but apparently not. There's a dude who was just sitting on some books when he died. Like mummified bodies. That's we're in some kind of catacomb. It kind of sucks for that guy. I don't know the story there. This fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. I was hoping that uh, Neptune, the other thing, and the bridge would be on here, but I don't see them. Watson, Which what do you think? Leads here. What about... I just discovered a fucking historic archaeological... Fu I... Holy shit. I feel like nobody is appreciating 
uh, the gravity of this. I'm gonna go out here and like chat with the 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 folks who are out here and like fail to even mention that I found some sort of an ancient mausoleum that is partially built out of human skeletons uh, and that I just went around lighting things on fire. No, that's that's the wrong. I see. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I was going to request. Holmes doesn't care. I mean, I guess he doesn't care about the like historical or archaeological value of it, but he should care about the value that it has to potential suspects in the case, right? Like recognizing and understanding its value to at least that extent seems important. All these events are bad for the baths and my job. Okay, all right. Uh, I did have that one thing where I was supposed to go back to the uh, lab, perform analysis on broken shards, perform analysis on mold pieces. I don't remember that. Search archives for Sir Rodney's draft. Okay, sweet. That's stuff that I can do. The Mithraeum lies hidden at the St. Albans excavation site. Bridge piers seem to hold a secret. What? Where did you get any of that? Alright, well, let's do... I like the science. Oh, no, let's look at the dog. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits oh, on you again. Oh, so cute. Um, there are dogs in... I mean, this is actually... This is even worse. There are dogs in Breath of the Wild, and you can't pet them. And it seems like... Such an incredibly obvious oversight. It is hard for me to forgive the studio that is responsible for that. And there's a lot that you can do with the dogs. Like the, it's not that the dogs are like there an are afterthought. Let's try to gather them. There, there's the dogs have an enormous number of animations. And there is a system for unlocking them and like all of this crazy nonsense. But you cannot pet them. And that is, I mean, man. What is, what's happening? Oh, wrong, but wrong button. Oh, I see. Can I... Ah. Ah! Okay. Alright. So. First of all, I was doing a lot of... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was doing a lot of, like, trying to click things and pressing keys on the keyboard in ways that seemed very intuitive to me uh, and did not do anything... Um, and, uh, there are, like, there are three overlapping modes, um, that I need to be aware of. Uh, how do I switch? I, I have no idea how to switch them. Oh. There are three overlapping modes that I need to be aware of. Wow, I think I hate this puzzle. Uh, and one of them is moving the whole... See, I already did it wrong again. Moving the whole thing what they call horizontally uh rotating horizontally i can also rotate vertically but i have to 
press a button in order to do it. Um, and then I can select an individual part and swap two parts or I can move a part but I can't move apart vertically. Okay, that actually helps. So I'm only spinning things horizontally. I am not actually flipping them up and down. Um, but I can flip the whole thing up and down in order to get a better view of stuff. So, oh Jesus, does that help me like, uh, I mean, it doesn't help me here. Does it help me up here? Like these align somehow? Uh, oh, but I can switch them around. No, I hate this again. This feels like there, the possibility space is just so huge. Uh, unless, unless when I get them right, they start to snap together and then, um, Maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. We'll see. So, no, that's not what I wanted. I'll go with it, though. I'm going to spin this so that it's like that. And then I'm going to... Okay, undo. I'm going to spin this... Oh god, uh, so that it's like that. And now I feel like. Oh god, I hate you. No, no, I tried to click off. Ah, skip. Yes, I really want to skip. It is a mold, I really and it is ready very much casting. did not like that. The mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, and yet... Okay, so where the hell did these come from? Sir Rodney apparently made this cast. Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. Oof. Yeah, these activities are like nonsense. Um. Now let us see what we have here. That's that's amazing, Sherlock. Is that how that works? Okay. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. After all, I literally just made this knife right here out of plaster. So it couldn't possibly be the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. Um, does it... I, here's the thing that I want to know, though. Can I examine the knife? Because the knife is supposed to have instructions written on it. And this knife appears to have instructions written on it. Um... So, can I... Knife? No, weapon shape. Okay, I want the actual... Show me the knife, please. I don't have the knife. The knife is, does not count as evidence. Is it... Did I miss... Is it on the table or something? Like... Oh, you're frustrating. You're frustrating frustrating okay this is some kind of puzzle dealy maybe yes see I like when that happens this seems like that oh good Oh, very good. Okay, excellent. See, this puzzle is way better than the previous puzzle. Just saying. Yes! Uh, 
Watson, could that you please was... use this negative and your photographic equipment to process the photograph? That was cool that, uh, like, I assembled that in kind of a non-standard way, now and it all worked really well. Now I must to develop the photograph. Oh, here's where I use some reagents. So that's a thing. Uh, ice cream in the desert. We are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. Uh, that is, it did look... That was actually the first thing that crossed my mind when I saw that equipment down in the catacombs was it looked like an ice cream maker. All right, we good? The pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Sir Rodney. Sir Another Rodney. archaeologist, most probably. Most probably. Ice. Salt. Uh, ice cream. Okay. Ice cream in the desert. <laughs> we are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. So that's it. Salt and crushed ice may help to create ice cream. Is that... Did we not know that? I thought that was... My analysis table. It is useful for my work. I had a friend, uh, a family friend, who used to have us over to camp in the summers and would make ice cream uh, by hand uh, with a with an ice cream maker and salt and uh, cream and ice. And um, I guess not everybody had that same childhood experience that I had, uh, but making ice or making ice cream like that seemed that that seems really that seemed intuitive to me. Like I saw that setup and I was like, oh, ice cream. That's actually, like, I see this in escape rooms a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, um, like, uh, like maybe binary. Like, somebody will encode something in binary in an in escape room puzzle. Uh, you'll need to make sure that there's some kind of description or guide to allow somebody without any other information to... Uh, to decipher that like that's a pretty that like morse code or binary that that makes sense um what do i feel like is some of the stuff that i assumed would be common knowledge but you can't assume especially in that kind of like enclosed puzzle space that anything is common knowledge um oh man i don't even know like Probably the system, of, like the relationship between north, east, south, and west is considered common knowledge. Like, that maybe is something that everybody knows. But, oh, like state capitals, definitely. Uh, like, I've been in escape rooms where there are puzzles around, you know, using or deciphering or relating state capitals. And, that, like, you need to make sure that there is a map that clearly shows... All of that stuff. Roman numerals. Zyvo, yes, 100%. Roman numerals, exactly, is like the kind of thing that, like, I feel like everybody learned uh, is almost second nature. But um, if you're going to include that in a puzzle, you sort of need to explain how it works uh, in case somebody doesn't know. Okay, so 1893 in Egypt. Uh, not chemistry. Uh, 1893, huh? East Africa could be. Rock of Gibraltar, maybe. Uh, Bent Cliffs Mummy, that seems uh, very uh, promising. Great excavation of Aswan, Aswan has taken over three years. Sir Rodney Bent Cliff, oh, that's his name. Good. Directed the archaeological work. A mummy was found uh, within enunciated eye and posed in an unusual position sitting on top of a stack of books for no apparent reason the right hand was tense as if reaching out for something or to someone 
The mummy was buried upright. She has been named the Desperate Mummy due to her very peculiar characteristics. Nearby could be read in Latin, By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. The mummy is believed to be Roman rather than Egyptian, as some symbols found in the tomb are common with the Mithraic mysteries. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Okay, Rad. We're gonna we're gonna go with the B. Uh, um. Right. Strange wood. Possible silver weapon. An item of silver has been recently melted in the brazier. Uh, the mold was used to create the murder weapon. Check if we can create a silver knife with the materials found. Okay, so that's a, it's a task. Okay. Um... Unexplained clue. The presence of water is due to the humid atmosphere caused by steam. Uh, the presence of water in the blood is an unexplained clue. It must be somehow linked to the murder process. Sure, why not? Interesting. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to go with that. We're going to try to create a silver knife. What are the letters? Sherlock, dear brother, you have made the most terrible mistake once again. Are you quite aware of exactly who Mr. Thomas... Wait, shit, is this... Oh, fuck! Here's my consequences. Uh, not only is he a well-known inventor and valued member of society, but he is also an official government negotiator for technical development, and now he is in prison. We shall have to find another inventor. Take a look at what you have done. I believe you are blind, blinded by so-called justice above all things. Okay. Uh, these are... Are these in reverse? Uh... No, 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 keep looking, keep looking. This is where I keep my post. Keep, keep this looking. Is, this is. Oh, is that, that's it? There's no, there's I still a letter post. there is my problem. Like, I feel this like. This is where I keep okay, my post. Fine. A grotesque murder of the former Captain Peter Carey, known in private as Black Peter, has been resolved. Evidence that Scotland Yard received from a trustworthy source was more than sufficient to conclude that the murderer of Peter Carey was Patrick Cairns, one of Carey's former harpooners. In fact, the dangerous criminal was caught single-handedly by brave Inspector Lestrade in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Patrick Cairns is now sentenced to death. Um, okay, so... This one I felt super good about, and I feel super good about the letter that I got. This one, Mycroft, um, is mad, obviously, um, but he doesn't actually say or even imply that I was wrong, so... I still feel pretty good about it. All right, let's go to. Uh, can I? Can I? Where do I create a mold or a uh, reproduction of the silver knife? And didn't I already do it? Let us try to create an object from silver by using the mold. Uh, yes, I do remember that jet lag, but uh, just to be explicit one of the options that I had one of the options that I have in each case is 
who to accuse and the other option is how to make that accusation and in the case of the train inventor dude uh even uh in addition to sort of choosing to in- accuse that guy, the inventor, I could have turned him over to Mycroft rather than turning him over to the police. In which case, I'm sure that letter would have been different, or, I, you know, I don't know what it would have been, but Mycroft probably would have been like, slap on the wrist, let him go, because he was useful. Um, but assuming that I believe that he was actually a murderer... Uh, probably better that justice was done. All right, silver into pot. It will Turn take a minute on. to melt the silver with my gas burner. Okay, that now, was less than a I minute. Now I can proceed further. The mold is hot. I should wait for it to cool down. Okay, let's wait for that to cool down done now i can done. proceed further now you have a fucking a silver knife silver knife excellent we have created a knife with the silver that we found it could have been used to kill sir rodney it was extremely clever to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime I mean, dissolve is maybe a strong term for what happened. Um, so just to be clear, somehow this dude managed to replicate a cursed knife that is supposed to kill anyone who's unworthy to touch it. And then it killed him. And then we took that silver, the silver that was literally formed into the knife that killed him, and reformed it back into exactly the same knife with the same silver that is now haunted with the soul of the murder of the dude is now going to kill again. That's what I'm saying. That knife is going to kill again on the next full moon. Um... Silver weapon. Seems reasonable. There's not really any question about that there. Is there is there more, do you think? I don't think. I really don't think. Um Okay. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Um who killed him? Mithraim lies... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Go back to... Uh... I'm glad that... See, this is the kind of thing that I'm saying, is that Sherlock Holmes here made a... Uh, not a logical deduction, an inference, a a jump, uh, like a uh, some kind of a... I don't know. Some kind of a logical leap uh, that... I did not make uh, that like th this was a map to the Frigidarium and then the Frigidarium was a map back to here um, and I uh, I appreciate that like I feel like Sherlock Holmes should make those kinds of fucking logical leaps uh, like bravo sir I will take your lead you are Sherlock Holmes. Uh, help me find all of this evidence to assemble and then judge. That is the role that I want to have here. Um... Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to be paying attention to stuff. So, it's... What was the order? No, that's not right. Oh, here's the knife. 
but I still can't I can't look at what is actually written on it that's that's a shame that seems like a shame uh, an ice maker very strange this is very strange Statue of Neptune. Well, uh, shoot. I remember that it was Neptune, and then something, and then a bridge. Um, possibly it was a bull? Neptune, and then a bull, and then a bridge? Oh, hey, look. Look. There's Neptune. Hi, Neptune. Uh, and there's a bull. Right? And there's a bridge. So, um, all good so far. The gastrofets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. Why does that spark a clue? Someone was experimenting with the Roman method of ice production. Well, yeah, what? Check if an ice knife can be created with the materials found. Oh, well. We said that way early, guys. Holy shit. Okay, so uh, the the Inja Jinja uh, has a suggestion that I fucking love. Um, a better premise for everything would be if you were Watson trying to figure out with uh, trying to figure things out with Sherlock looking over your shoulder, giving clues and acting like an arrogant prick. Amazing. Uh, where can I contribute to your Kickstarter? Um, also, this is basically the premise of Sherlock Holmes' Consulting Detective, uh, which Cage Tiger mentioned earlier, and I figured we'd probably, uh, get to a little bit later, but, um, it's sort of the same thing. It's like, here is a Sherlock Holmes mystery, here are all of the clues, how long does it take you to figure out the solution, and then you turn to the back of the book where it tells you whether or not you were right like this is what the correct solution is and then also here's how Sherlock Holmes did it better than you uh, which is kind of like an amazing premise uh, that I think is rich territory don't get me wrong uh, like I'm I still buy your pitch because uh, I think like there's a lot you can do with uh, oh wait, maybe Sherlock Holmes is an asshole. Uh, as a as a sort of like thematic area, um, like I'm down for that. We should use these metal rings to help us reach the bridge pillar. We should use these metal yeah, rings. Okay. We can do that. I have I have hooks and ropes. And, uh, like an arbalist or something. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like maybe I didn't examine all of this properly. Because it usually kicks me out when I'm done. There oh, hidden place. Got it. Needs. There we go. Have to find a way of getting there. Bye, Eve. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, have a good night. Okay, so where were the hooks? I remember where the rope is. And I remember where the crossbow thing is. And there are hooks right there. Sweet.
Come on. Here we go. Uh, boo. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Me, this goes. I should use the appropriate object here. Fucking Sherlock Holmes. Mechanism housing handle joint. Okay, put this down. Handle goes on the handle joint. Uh, mechanism goes in the mechanism housing. And then. Does this go. This is a separate piece unrelated to the object. Oh, what? Um, did I screw it up? Did I do it wrong? I can't take the handle off again. Uh, oh, rotate. Okay. How about that? Oh, there we go. Nope, it was still, I don't know. I got, I have zero idea what the deal was there. Because I rotated it and then it rotated it back. So. Those rings on the bridge are perfect target. Okay, well. Oh, right, I remember. Uh, I don't actually remember how to. This one is ready. Sweet. Damn it. Hold your breath better. Firing a gastrofetus requires a lot of practice. Watson, I feel like you may be better at this than I am. Do you want to give it a try? This one is ready. I really hope that this is training us for... Uh, some sort of an action-packed finale where we have to shoot a guy. The bridge is ready. Now I must cross it. Uh, standard mouse. I think that was standard mouse. I probably could have inverted it in the options somewhere. Oh, shit! Is that Holmes, like, crying out? Oh. I, I see, I, I need to click to take steps. Um, dude, this is not as hard as you are making it out to be. Okay, I see. I have to wait for the white arrow to appear. And then click, maybe? It's not really working. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time with a little bit more patience. Those are very un Sherlock Holmes like sounds, I feel like. So weird. This is super weird. This is the weirdest sequence in this game so far. And this game isn't without weird sequences. Watson, come here. I have found something. 
Also, why was I centered over the right hand railing and not over the middle? I mean, that was part of what was so confusing about this. Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? I am not sure. We had better be careful. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so... Like, maybe let's get on the same page about this? But, like, you followed the map to the temple of Mithras. You found a secret temple. And then the uh, task list interface told you to explore the Temple I of Mithras. I saw this so, in the tunnels underneath the Frigidarium. You did? Which way should we go, Holmes? There ought to be some clues here. Let's take a look around. Okay, so the... This, like, cross-hatched banana is the symbol for home and also maybe Frigidarium. I saw this symbol in the tunnels. No, they're all Frigidarium, the Frigidarium symbols. Okay. Uh, all right. I saw this symbol Good in job. the tunnel. Well done. I keep keep going. I Okay, very nice. Um, I don't know what this is. How about Oh, I just I stood on it. I'm just standing on this thing. Okay. Great. Um, all of the symbols on the ground match the symbols on the ceilings. Which is nice. I'm just going to start walking down different ho hallways. Uh, maybe there are traps? Uh, like, I kind of keep expecting spikes to pop out of the walls and kill me. But maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I went I went down there and I came out there. Now I'm going to go down here. Okay, this one goes down. Ask ask Watson to walk in front of you. That's a good strategy. Okay, and then I come out into another place, which is clearly different because it's got different symbols. But look, there's our crosshatch banana. I'm going to go that way and see if it leads back home. It does go up. Uh, and it goes to another place that has some stones. What the heck is this? Oh shit, now it's a Nancy Drew puzzle. Okay, that one's really light. This is pretty weird. Because the blue is heavier than green. And red is heavier than green. But green is heavier than yellow. Oh, and white and green are equal. Hmm. Okay, well... I'm not gonna, no, no, no. Yes, that's fine. I can start over next time. Okay, wait, hold on. All of that UX at the end there makes me think that I should be able to solve this. I, I, I stopped because I actually don't know what I'm trying to do. Like, is there a point to this? Um, 
do I have some sort of specific intention? Uh, did not seem clear. Right, okay, so I know the white rock and the green rock weigh the same amount. I'm not sure, am I trying to balance all three of these? Like, they all have to have rocks on them, but the rocks all have to balance out. So these two weigh the same, green and white. Great. Blue. Red weighs more than blue. Blue weighs more than yellow. So, and so yellow is the lightest of these. Okay, green and white weigh more than yellow. but less than blue. So yellow, and red is the heaviest of all. So I'm gonna go those two and these two. There we go. Okay, that did something. I guess it opened all of these. I think they were all closed before, except for the, the slug or the banana. So I'm gonna go down violin. And now I have two paths to choose from. Now I have two more paths to choose from. I don't like having all of these paths to choose from. I also like, uh, so Roto Penguin, really excellent point. Couldn't we just like push down on the scales the same amount? Um, I'm, I also feel like if the point was to balance them all, then don't they start out already balanced? Um, maybe I don't understand what the, the internal uh, like scale mechanism looks like, but on a typical scale, you're only looking at the differential between two things. Um, so putting one pound on each scale or putting zero pounds on each scale shouldn't make all of that much of a difference. Okay, I'm in a maze, clearly. So if I go down um, banjo, it's a maze. What if I go down fish? Okay, I come out fish, so that's good. I've seen this symbol before. Well, is this, this is where the fish took me, right? So yeah, cause if I go here, it's just gonna take me out the other, the other way, right? No, that's definitely a fish. See, fish. Uh, how about insect? This is like cricket. I can go down the cricket path. The cricket path takes me down further. Do I? Oh!
Am I going down? I assume I'm going down. Okay. So, where did, which one did I take? Which path did I take first? Was it um I don't remember. But then maybe second I took poker and then no, I took fish. Didn't I? Where even is the fish? Oh, okay. So maybe I'm going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took banana and then fish and then insect. And so now I should either take poker or uh, parachute. Wait, am I going? I'm going back up. Oh, shit. No, I did that wrong then. Uh, okay, here's parachute though. I'll take parachute. No, that's taking me up again. I feel like up is bad. Uh, can I? How do I get back to the beginning? From here, I cannot. Okay. Uh, all right. So I just took I just took parachute up. Damn it. Uh, and now I guess I'm looking at either, so I don't want insect. I want, uh, either like that torch thing or that bagpipe thing or the, um, like halo of thorns in the middle. Oh, these are all weird. Uh, okay. So that looks like halo of thorns. I guess let's take that. We'll see, now I have... Do I go left or right? No, stop it. Okay, doesn't matter. They both lead to the same place. Okay, sweet. All right, so now... I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this right. So then, and now I want either um, like a sickle or a really elaborate helmet or a like drum. So not a banjo and not a cricket. Uh, oh yeah, that's an elaborate helmet. That looks like a wizard's hat. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. That seems to lead up to somewhere significant, is my feeling. Okay, well, yeah, this got me to a place. It's a, it's a scary place. Um, if I go forward, Look, it's, the golden, it's the golden knife. knife. There we go. I have to get it. not um, oh here's a lever let's try that where okay, that opened a Watson, thing I need your help oh oh shit I get to suddenly be Watson Don't hold that. All right, go over somewhere else. Find another lever to hold. I am going to trap you in a enclosed space, Watson. Uh, don't fret. Okay, now you are trapped. It's fine. It's all according to plan. 
Uh, now I have three levers to choose from. One of them presumably will free you, the other two might kill you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh yeah, okay, that was f fine. I guess I just, I had a one in three chance of getting that right. Say no. That looks good. That seems like a good. Uh huh. Yep. Oh no! Wait. That was. Oh shit! I did that wrong. Okay. Wait. 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 Keep going. I meant to. I thought that was Holmes. Okay, uh, so I'm deactivate this. What does this do? What do these other two things do? Do they do things? Okay, well that's weird. Where am I trying to get to? Okay, Watson has a lever that opens what appears to be like a main room. And then he also has this lever that does, that opens that, okay. So that Holmes can get out and go to the main door, yes. So, sweet, there we go. We opened a thing. Perfect time to take a short break. Uh, gonna, I think I can finish this mystery tonight and that is my priority so we're gonna do that come back in just uh, a couple of minutes and uh, see if we can solve the bloody the bloody bath is that what it's called ew okay all right we'll be back in a minute